Ryan Wang says he's a typical little boy, but how many five-year-olds do you know that can do this? Ryan's prodigious talent is taking him to Carnegie Hall. Well, he'll join us live after the break. That's Ryan Wang performing. You might have noticed he looked a little small next to that piano. Well, that's because Ryan is just five years old and he's only been playing for a year and a half. But his immense talent is getting noticed everywhere. And this month, he'll set off on a world tour. Ryan and his mother, Iris, join me now from Vancouver. Ryan, you're going to be playing at Carnegie Hall. Don't you look smart in that bow tie? How are you feeling about that? Good. You feeling good? Are you nervous? No. How, what do you like playing about the piano? Why do you like it so much? Um, because it's just I like it. You've only been playing for a year and a half. Is, do you have a favorite piece that you like playing? Yeah. What's your favorite piece? Variations on the Risen Theme. Wow. And then you're going to be traveling around the world. Can you believe it? Very exciting. Are nice you ex experience. Are you excited about this, Iris? Yeah, I'm very excited. When did you discover that Ryan was able to play, that he loves the piano and that he was able to play it so well? Yeah, when Ryan was little, when he before two years old, he shows a lot of interest in music and he's singing and dancing. I took him to all the concerts you know, around Vancouver to watch all the kids' show, and he just loved them all. And um, when he was three, he was in the toddler program to learn the music. And, um, and uh, at home, his favorite toy is a um, little electronic keyboard. And uh, when he was four years old, I decided to send him to learn piano. And the good thing is that he loves it. And Ryan, tell me about how you feel when you're playing the piano. What's it like? What, what are you thinking about? Um, I'm thinking about um, sometimes like the music is happy and sometimes it's sad. So um, I feel about it. Do you like playing happy songs or do you like playing sad or both? Both. And do you have a favorite happy piece that you like to play? Um, I like all of the happy songs. You like all the happy songs? <laughs> what makes you happy when you're not playing the piano, Ryan? What else do you like to do? Um, I also like to do um, taekwondo and skating. And do you, are, you, are you nervous about playing in Carnegie Hall? It's a big... No, I'm not. No, you're not. Not at all nervous. No. What do you think about when people are watching you play the piano? You like it? Yeah, I like it. And Iris, what do you think about when you see him up there on a big stage? You must be more nervous than he is. Yeah, yes I am, and I'm, I'm very impressed. You know, he's so confident and so comfortable to play in front of people. And Iris, you know, he, he does not even practice all that often, does he? No. No. Yeah. Like how, how often, how often does he practice every day? Every day, one hour, and uh, during weekends, two hours. So what and do... And he, he has a busy schedule, and every day he has some... And taekwondo, skating, and the play dates with other kids, and the public speaking, and <laughs> sometimes, you know, roller skate, go biking with his friends. They have so much fun together. Ryan, do you ever get tired from taekwondo, <laughs> playing the piano, play dates? Are you tired? No. <laughs> you just love it, all of it. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> 
and, and all of them in one day. No. What's that? Oh, all of them in one day. Maybe too tiring for him. But for now, <laughs> yeah, no. that's all I know. Yeah. Well, we wish you the best of luck at Carnegie Hall. Thank you Thank for you talking to us. Thank you, Andrew. Thank right. you. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> You're welcome. Ryan Wang and his mother Iris speaking to us yeah. in bye. Vancouver. Bye bye. Bye bye. Up next from a